Hey YouTube Rando here. So today I want to show you our new stove kit. Um, now what we did is we took the stove that was in my wife's uh, little EDC kit that she was carrying in her purse. We took it out. Chances are she'll never need it, never use it. So um, I mean she has other options in the truck or in her vehicle with a uh, small emergency kit. So she really didn't need it. So we took it out and made it a redundancy kit for my big uh, stove kit that I have with the Esbit uh, folding pocket stove. Let me show you what we did here. We just took the little pack that the NAA used to go in and uh, put the NAA, we used it, we put it in the Fox Tactical pouch. So this is just a spare pouch we had. Of course you're going to have a wider. Uh, and it should be a big lighter, but uh, it's not what we have. So <laughs> we have a uh, UST and two pieces of fat wood. A little keychain deal we made for uh, EDC fire kit, which has been replaced. So we didn't need it anymore. Got a bunch of these Coglins fire sticks. These Coglins fire sticks you could use as an alternative fuel, and they burn for a really long time, believe it or not. Uh, a piece this size will burn for about seven minutes. So, something like this, you're looking at 10, 12 minutes in there. So, good burn time on them. We just put them in here as a, uh, you know, a backup fuel source. You could always use twigs or whatever, but now I don't have to go hunting dry twigs. I can just use these if, if need be. Now this is the fuel source we carry. We're not carrying the esbits in here because uh, you can't fit that many in here. Now an esbit fuel tab, the kind that we buy lasts about eight minutes. Uh, supposedly these last about six. So not much difference and they don't stink. Uh, the esbit fuel tabs smell like fish. I mean they just smell really bad and these don't. So that's why we're putting these in there. And these are the Coglins fuel tabs. Just a extra set of matches. I really need to put some good matches in here, but and some of the fuel tabs that we've used opened. We had another pack about this size, and we started doing some testing with them. Uh, of course, the windscreen. We have a. You know, I like to throw the bread pans in there, so another bread pan, and we could uh, boil water in that if necessary. And then the stove itself, which is the Esbit uh, foldable stove, but you're not going to be putting this back into place, so it's kind of like a one-use uh, deal, and then it's going to stay in its form after you fold it together. And then in here I just have some alcohol pads. If nothing else, I can use them for cleanup, but I uh, could also use them as a igniter to light some uh, branches or something if I run out of all my fuel sources which this is a fuel source these are fuel source uh, these are fuel sources so we got plenty of fuel in here probably let's say a good hour 45 minutes something like that with just this and then you have the fat wood which would add a little bit of time as well uh, we got close to two hours worth of fuel here so plenty of burn time enough time to boil some water we are going to be doing some alternative fuels on the Esbit stove. We're going to use the uh, folding stove in my large kit. Um, so we're going to try, you know, Vaseline cotton balls. We're going to do the Coglins. Uh, we're going to try the Coleman's fire sticks. We're going to try a bunch of different fuel sources and see which one works the best and which one's cheapest. And uh, just do some testing with these stoves and, and really get it down to a science and see how much it's going to cost to run. Uh, so be looking out for those videos coming out real soon. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching YouTube.